All right, everybody, it's Godors55 here coming at you with a, a former, I guess you could say, somewhat iconic football player of the Titans franchise, former one of the greats for the two-tone blue, former wide receiver Derek Mason, spent his last year in the NFL with the Texans, of course, that's not good, but uh, anyway, he spent six years in Nashville with the Titans, I believe. And believe it or not, I remember actually watching him uh, when I was around six or seven or something like that. I remember watching him somewhat. So, believe it or not, I remember some of these old guys that used to suit up for Tennessee Titans, for the Tennessee Titans. But uh, what better way to bring back, you know, a man like Derek Mason, a guy who could teach – Kenny Britt a lot about work ethic, but what better way to bring back a great wide receiver like Derek Mason as the honorary 12th man? You know, what better time when it's a big game when you've got the defending NFC champs coming into LP Field, the 49ers, or as I like to call them, the 40 Winers. So, uh, what better time to bring back uh, a man such as Derek Mason back into Nashville? Uh, who was also part of the AFC Championship team back in 99. So what better big game than when you got a team like the 49ers coming in town, code blue game, where LP Field's going to be decked out in two-tone blue, one dark blue and one uh, light blue. And actually, the Titans are suiting up in dark blue alternate gear, so it's going to look like the old times for the Titans. And that's going to be very nostalgic for Derek Mason to watch since he used to wear that dark blue but the Titans are bringing out the dark blues for this game so that's awesome it's always great to see those old style dark blues coming back so uh, I'll just read to you what Derek Mason had to say on the honor of being the 12th Titan and uh, putting the sword at center field and uh, I believe in raising the Titans flag the 12th Titan flag for the game so I'm gonna read you about how Derek Mason is honored and what he had to say about being the 12th Titan on Sunday and getting to put the sword in midfield and raising up the 12th Titan flag. Here's what Derek Mason had to say. It's a privilege and honor to be invited to be the 12th Titan at Sunday's game at Delphi Field. I have a lot of great memories from playing at the formerly known Adelphia Coliseum and it will be special to be introduced and run out of that tunnel one last time in front of our great Titans fans. I didn't think that would ever happen again, especially after I retired. But it's a nice gesture by the Titans, and it shows that, and it shows what I meant to the organization. Organization. It's kind of their way of saying job well done. I will always cherish and fondly reflect on my time with the Titans. There was a special group of guys here back in 1999, the year we made our run to the Super Bowl. It's not like the team was already established. All of us were new. We all came in and kind of built this team together got immersed into this city and grew together as a family. And as the team grew, the fans grew to love us. Those are the times I will always cherish. It was not only great to be part of that era of Titans football, but great to play an, an integral part in it. I was a the guy they counted on each, each and every week to be productive and make plays. I barely did anything my first couple of years. Did a little punt and kick return and played sparingly at wide receiver. Unfortunately, some guys got hurt and I was able to take advantage of the opportunity that was presented to me. Over the next six years, I was able to grow as a player, a person, and in my responsibilities on the team. It's one thing to be involved, but another to be entrenched and really be one of the focal points of the organization. And for a period of about five or six years, I was able to make the most of my opportunities on the field and develop a close relationship with the greater Nashville community. Being here every day with the guys like Steve McNair and Eddie George, seeing the types of leaders they were and being able to practice against a very fierce defense built me into the type of player I became for the rest of my career. Those are the days I'll never forget. My plan was to never leave the Titans. In my mind, I thought that I was a fixture in this organization and a key part of the offense. I hadn't reached my prime yet, so I didn't see myself going anywhere for the next 10 years. I never thought I would play in another uniform. But unfortunately, I got caught up in a salary cap situation and didn't have a choice. I understood the business side of it. And I will never hold anything against the Titans of what the Titans had to do. Sitting down with Jeff Fisher and talking to him about what was going on 
really helped me out during that time. As it turned out, I ended up having two phases of my career. The first with the Titans and second with the Baltimore Ravens, who gave me my next opportunity. When we beat the Ravens in Baltimore in the AFC wildcard game after the 2003 season, I never would have imagined that I would be playing for them one day. But that's how things played out. It was kind of like having two careers in one. What was strange for me was coming back to play against the Titans for the first time at LP Field. That first time against them, I really wanted to pay them back and show them they made a bad decision. I was playing out of anger instead of playing out of true joy. The Ravens lost that game, but the next time I was able to move past what had happened and came back here in a much better state of mind. I remember Steve connected with me on a touchdown pass on the last on a touchdown pass on the last drive to win that game in 2006. It was kind of fitting that two of the key guys that helped jumpstart the Titans back in 99 were the two guys that ended up scoring the game-winning touchdown to beat them that day. Now, pausing from what he's got to say, that is very cool that McNair, you know, in his final career, and Derek Mason, and I believe his final, well, McNair in his final year of his career, and Derek Mason in his final year of his career, or really with the Ravens. He had two more years, but the Titans and the Ravens were his most successful goes. I think that was really neat, even though... You know, I'm a Titans fan. That is neat. They got two guys who've been involved in the focal points of the Titans organization and the upbringing of them. Two guys who were huge parts of our offense, and that's really an understatement. Came back in a different uniform and ended up beating them in LP Field. So, I mean, and they scored the game winning touchdown to do it. So, I mean, that's very cool, in my opinion. Continuing on what he has to say, not much longer. Continuing. All that said, this organization will always mean a lot to me, a lot to me, and I still see myself as a Titan. They took a chance by drafting me back in 1997, and I will always be thankful for that. The support I've received from fans, from fans here over the years, has been tremendous and is still strong to this day. They always tell me I was the greatest wide receiver to ever play here, and I wish I could have retired here. Some of them want me to come back, but I tell them, listen, I can't come back. Those playing days are gone. The love that I get from the Nashville community is something that you can only dream of as a player. So it will be a special moment for me on Sunday when I'm introduced as the 12th Titan and get to run out of that tunnel one more time. I'm thankful to the Titans organization for letting me have this moment in front of my son and daughter. The Titans gave me an opportunity to live out a dream to play in the National Football League. For that, I will always be grateful. So uh, welcome back, Derek Mason. Uh, Although I won't be there, I'll be there with my Titans in spirit watching on TV. Derek Mason, enjoy it. You'll always be a Titans man, and uh, great to have you back as the 12th Titan.